Pinch yourself if you heard this one before. The Nintendo Switch 2 is trending online. Might as well call it the Nintendo Switch Pro is trending online. If we want to talk about the just total trends of some new Nintendo hardware over the last handful of years. Let's just say it's been trending since 2017 and really since 2019, it seems to trend at least once a week. And normally when it's trending today, at this point in 2022, it's because of two things. Either one, there was some update to an old rumor or report by Takahashi Machizuki or something from the rumor mill about new hardware or developers with new hardware or about games like Call of Duty or whatever with that 10 year contract with Microsoft coming over. There is oftentimes conversations around that that lead to Switch Pro and Switch 2 trending. Or the conversation is because of a new game that recently came out on Switch that isn't running well, such as Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, and people being like, this is why we need new hardware. So those are usually the two reasons that we see Nintendo Switch 2 or Pro trending. Well, this time around, <laughs> that wasn't why it was trending. And as I read through thousands and thousands of tweets and comments, it seems to me that it all stemmed from a single tweet from Spawnwave that doesn't even say Switch 2, but a lot of the quote tweets from it do. So what did John have to say, the guy who runs Spawnwave? He said, I'm generally curious how long people want the current Switch to last. It seems whenever it's brought up that the Switch is showing its age heading into its seventh year, Many seem to push back on the idea. Now, there's a number of responses to this we will read, but before we do, I want to remind you about today's sponsor. All right, so first up, we'll get to some of the just literal responses that don't involve quote tweets, because the quote tweets are huge. But let's get into the literal responses. We have Super Metal Day 64, one of the friends of the channel, saying the funny thing is that people think the Switch will automatically die as soon as the Switch 2 is out. That's not happening. Releasing a Switch 2 in 2023 would be similar to how the Switch OG came out, and the 3DS was still supported years more by Nintendo after 2017. It's just time. Then you have Player Essence coming out saying, people are just tired of the fake outs. The whole Switch Pro is coming every year. Since 2020 rumors didn't help either. Somebody noted it's actually been since 2017. You have Stealth, another friend of the channel coming out saying the Switch is getting so many good games, so that's not making me be in a particular rush, but I'm sure Nintendo's working on a successor. They always are. RGT just says good luck and many, many, many others. So what's interesting, of course, are the quote tweets, which I think is what made it trend because after all, Spawnwave never said Switch 2 in his tweet. So Arrow, as an example, a really big content creator, uh, quote tweeted him and said, it's mainly just people being tired and hearing, this is the year of the new Switch system since like 2019 and not getting it. I do agree it's time for a Switch 2 or Pro though, even though some Nintendo's own big games don't run the best anymore. This topic will be my first bid of 2023. And there's 158 likes of that with other retweets and quote tweets of that one as well. And honestly, we see a lot of quote tweets bringing up Switch 2 and getting a number of likes. The thing about this conversation, and I admit I'm a little tired of it. I'm not going to sit here and pretend I haven't been talking about a new Switch system since 2017. We do cover rumors, and so I know the rumors have existed since before the Nintendo Switch even came out, that the Switch wasn't supposed to be the final hardware, but due to the Wii U flopping, they went with that. It was going to use a different architecture and launch a year or two later, but... Look, I, I, we've all heard those reports and those rumors are old at this point. And we all know 2019 seemed to really come to a head where it felt like dev units were out there. Takahashi Machizuki claimed that at least 11 different developers had dev units. And here we are in 2022 and nothing's happened with that fact. So let's say they do have dev units. Well, it's been three years and nothing's 
happened. So what's the deal with that? And if they're sitting on dev units for three years, how old is the hardware that they're using in here? And you know what? Maybe it is time for a Switch 2. There's also obviously people thinking Switch 2 might come with Tears of the Kingdom. That's maybe another reason you can see Switch 2 trend, except we don't have any news on Tears of the Kingdom, at least major news. I know we had a, a smidge of news over the weekend, but not something that would make you think about Switch 2. So well, I just find this, this fascinating because I truly believe that there's two camps to this Switch Pro, Switch 2 stuff. The one camp is they just want it to happen no matter what. They're tired of the current Switch. They see it's entering year seven. They're ready to have Tears of the Kingdom and other third party and future Nintendo games running at higher resolutions and better frame rates. And frankly, they just want this system to exist. So any morsel of possibility out there, whether it's a game running poorly, whether it's an update on an old rumor, whatever it is, they bring the conversation to the forefront because they just really want it to happen. But then that other side of the coin, I think player essence sort of hit the nail on the head and that was people are just tired of talking about it. So when Spawn Wave mentions, you know, he's curious how long people think the current switch can last because there's pushback anytime a new system is mentioned. The pushback I don't think is that people aren't willing to accept a new system. I think the pushback is that people don't want to talk about it anymore because it just gets kind of old to keep hoping for something that we just don't have any more or new evidence of it existing. And I get that that could be really frustrating, especially as people are saving money and maybe trying to make purchasing decisions. I heard one argument about the chip shortage maybe being like, oh, we can't see a new system in 2023. Chip shortage, chip shortage, except quietly the chip shortage is sort of going away. All the recent reports are that we're gonna have a chip surplus in 2023 because demand has gone way down across the entire industry. Well. Probably because half the world's sitting in a recession right now. So people really aren't spending a whole lot. They're just trying to get back to work and get their lives reorganized and get their families supported. And hey, they just bought a bunch of electronics the last couple of years. So there could be a slowdown coming up. I find this fascinating for a number of reasons, but I think the idea at this point is the reason that people are tepid is because they just are tired of hearing something that ends up not happening. When people try to speculate even about a new Switch coming with Tears of the Kingdom, there's pushback on that when it's nothing but speculation. And I get it. I mean, guys, we've been talking about Upgraded Harbor since 2016 at this point. I'm going to continue to cover and talk about it when it's relevant. We've got podcast episodes recently on it. I just think we are in this realm where the logic-based part of our brains is meeting the really part of our brains. Does this make sense? Logically, Switch is entering the seventh year. We should be talking about the next system. We should be talking about it a lot and speculating away and talking about how Nintendo can transition because it makes sense. We're at that point in the Switch's life cycle where we should start really having those conversations. On the other hand, we've been having conversations like this already for four years because, well, these rumors have existed and the rumors have kind of led to us tiring out of the actual conversation before we should have been having the actual conversation. Right now is when we should be talking about that successor, when we should be talking about an upgraded switch, but because we did it a little early, <laughs> we're uh, in the middle of a pandemic at that when we are desperate for content. I, I think it just leads to now when we should be having the conversation, so people are just not having it. By the way, there's always going to be people who want the conversation and are going to continue it as well. So. I don't know. So I don't know. What camp do you find yourself in? Are you in the camp that's just so sick and tired of hearing about this thing that, you know what, until it's announced by Nintendo, you'd rather people just never bring it up? Or are you of the camp that thinks, hey, look, we're entering the seventh year of Switch. We probably should be talking about this more. And I want to hear more speculation and more content on it. You know, I'm going to be speculating and, and making a whole bunch of videos on Tears of the Kingdom, something we know very little about, but we do know it at least exists. So some people find some value in that kind of content. Some people still find value in new hardware content as well. But what's that balance for you personally? That's what I want you to go down in the comments and let me know which side of the fence are you on. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and I'll catch you in the next video.